Yo, DJ, pull that up. Hello, 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 hello. My headphones. Hello, you guys hear me? Hello, am I not on? You're on. I hear you. I hear you. Your headphones don't work. Hello, clear as day. Yeah. Let me just turn up my oh, headphones a little bit. A skosh. Uh, ah, yeah. Yep. Promo code yak. Roback.com. Q-Zips, polos, Put me on camera, TJ. Shorts. Roback. Wow. Is that Roback? Oh, yeah. Roback. Oh, fuck. Yes. Roback best? Oh, Hell yeah. You have Roback best, man. Fuck, man. Yeah, yeah. Roback on Roback. Roback.com. Promo code yak. 20% off your first purchase. That's perfect. Is uh, that a PGA? Oh, that's is too that, high. Is that, is that a, a pussy getting a tire? Just me looking cool, dude. So, okay. Just me looking cool. <laughs> There's two things that we gotta start. I mean, Nick, your shoes are fucking awesome. Nice kicks. What the hell are that you before? doing? God decided. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, high top New Balances. High they're, top New Balances. They're the best for hacky sacking. Oh, most surface area. Yep. Brennan, you look great today. Thank you very much. I feel good. I used to be a best guy, um, mm-hmm. and I'm thinking about going back to it. That you wasn't a joke. Me? That wasn't a joke. I wasn't gonna be like, oh, I used to be a best guy. Then my dad got a job. <laughs> I. Yeah, I guess I would be caught. Well, I was I was a vest guy for many years. Then Wall Street Bros took over our culture. Yeah, because yep. vests were for a long time the culture of hefty men trying to cover up mm-hmm. their boobies. Well, it, I it, mean that's it hides titty perfectly. Well, oh, so good, so well. It's like just tighten it up, no titties. You look like you're Superman. It seems like you're accusing me of something. No, no. What you just, guys just said seems like something you're accusing me of doing. Well, no. yeah, you have to admit that. You do like the fact that it's like a, a it's a you do look great. Set. It's they are hiding set. your titties, right? So hiding. I mean, jokes aside, it is a side benefit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. I, I don't think you did it to hide your titties. I think you do appreciate the fact that your titties are hidden. It's an added bonus. I'd like to announce something right now. Okay, I one hundred percent did it to hide my titties. Yep. Of course, ah. it's the main benefit. Of course, yeah, yeah. but then Wall Street Bros took it over, and they just became like they don't have titties to hide. They have just eh. they. You're, are they? Well, there's them? fat accountants for sure. Fat accountants for sure. Yeah, but like you, I'm talking about the Wall Street Bros. Good, good in good shape. You know, making a nice 200k. Nice yeah. job. Living, nice job. Yeah. Living in a Mon-talk. sick, sick house with or sick apartment in the West Village with four roommates. Yeah, like those guys. Are they yeah. paying for their vests or they get them from the company? Because it always has the insignia. Mix of both. Yeah, I think it's mix a mix of both. of both. All business Pete feels like he's a vest guy. Yeah, but he's a loser vest guy. Yeah. He's just everything he wears. He's a loser. Right. You probably can't even get the zipper to zip up right. You know? mm-hmm. Am I right? Yeah. Actually, <laughs> am I right, guys? Because <laughs> yeah. yeah. he's, he's, he's fucking he's stupid. He's, he's, he's an idiot. Can't yeah. figure out the zipper. Yeah. He's an asshole. He doesn't wear Velcro. anything but those short pants anymore. Oh, he's transitioned fully. That's all he ever wears. Well, he, only, he wears the those are trans pullover. pants. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. They, they, they are. are. Yeah. He wears jeans on Fridays. When's the last time you saw Pete in jeans? Really think about that. Friday. Nope. Oh, <laughs> okay. Then I didn't. I disagree. <laughs> Are vests practical? Like, is your torso cold and your arm? Like, why do, Why vest? I don't know, but it's so comfortable. It feels wonderful. I look terrific. You, you do. You feel like a knight. Like, you're all zippered up and you feel tight. Yeah. Like cozy. a knight? Yeah. yeah. All Does it come up? Yeah. This yeah. knight feels super comfortable like in that in- armor. <laughs> 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 all zippered up in do that armor. Wanna, do y'all want to pass Just, the vest around? Yes. Want to try the vest? Yeah. Pass you, the, yeah, pass the vest. Does the vest complement the jacket where you can leave the jacket open? The vest covers the. Oh yeah, no, that's a good look. You know what I mean? That's a good look. I might. You could go short sleeve and look like a motorcycle guy. Though, oh. Right? Yo, well, Brandon's kind of. He's got his his rolled up. Mark, what's in that box that you brought in? What's uh, in the box? My unicycle. What? Oh, no the way. unicycle I ordered. Uh, like. It was two days ago, I think. They're yeah. Quick. That was uh, yesterday. Quick. Yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> I'm leaving uh, my house this morning, and huge package on the front step, and I. I, it took me a second to figure out what it was, and I don't know. Don't I you feel secure? So, what, how's it look? Let's see. You kind of cool, yeah. Not good. No. <laughs> I'm being honest. You're no. not fat enough for a vest. You look like no, you're. Kind of like you it, look like you're wearing a vest to try to make people think you're That's bulkier worse. than you are. That's worse. Yeah. No, it's not no, better. Not oh. good. It's worse. But uh, but Nick, you should take that as a compliment. Not needing the vest as a crutch means that. You're not a disgusting No, slob. I'm ugly and I look like shit. I fucking get it. <laughs> okay, fine. That is what I wanted to say, but I love you too much. Thank you. Uh, let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. Yeah, yeah. Let me get this vest. Let me 
fucking stress. You're about to feel so much power in that thing. What's a jack dude in a vest look like, Kyle? Yeah. Wait. Oh, fuck. Yep. Oh, you look cool, oh, man. That's yeah, your that best now. Yeah. That's yeah. my best. Yeah. That does look awesome. Bust out the unicycle, right. please. Uh, <laughs> look at that seat. Oh, and it feels so much Ooh. more comfortable. Good. Uh, I uh, bet it's so, probably so warm on the inside, too, because of how fat I am. Damn. Your titties aren't showing really though, Brandon. Well, I'm sitting back. Uh, yeah, you really. Wait, you touch look your elbows like, together. You look like uh, a guy who could use a vest. Touch your elbows together. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I can no. make myself a nice little home there. <laughs> Did you see like the prison dudes who are like making at, like girls from the back I'm out of like pillows and clothes? No. Are you talking about like a, a fat ass girl sitting down? Wait, are you talking about Drewski's skits? Not a girl with a fat ass sitting down. Is that a skit? Well, Drewski's doing like these prisons. Yeah, oh, him that's and Kai. Kai Kai Kai. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Seven shit. days Maybe in prison. I got played. But no. Does no. he get any backlash for that, TJ? For impersonating a prisoner? Yeah. I guess maybe. I don't. I don't know. But I feel like we wouldn't get away with that. Nope. No shot. It's a little. What's different. What's the difference yeah. between us and Drewski? <laughs> uh, I I can't think of any. Hey, he's from the south. You're from the south. I'm from the south. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Drewski's so fucking funny. There's he, a yeah. clip from that stream of a guy like escaping prison, and it's like the funniest thing I've ever seen. That's yeah. the guy that impregnated the Little Mermaid. What? what? Yeah, huh? the chick huh? that played the Little Slow Mermaid. He got her pregnant. Wait, wait, what? That guy what? got the what? Little Mermaid pregnant. The guy that escaped. Was it? The, wait, the Black the, Little Mermaid. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Did you see? Did you that think he got the animated Little Mermaid? <laughs> <laughs> the horny dudes find I would a way. Like yeah. to. Um, yeah. Same. I think that I think that Snow White's never going to come out, which I love. You win. Yeah, I won. Yeah. Has there Rachel been an update Ziegler. on Snow White? Is they said that they're extending it to 2025. That means it's never coming out. And I think they now just fully CGI'd the dwarves now. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So It's not those weird dudes in the pasture, in the field? I don't think it's the weird dudes in the pasture anymore. <laughs> Tice is just building a unison. Yeah. building a unison. Yeah. I don't know. Kyle asked help. for it. Yeah. You need help? It seemed like Kyle spokes or anything. I don't think you take a vest off from the top. I just <sighs> did. Have at it. Uh, by the way, we got the golf simulator in. The oh. golf simulator oh, it is fucking incredible. Is insane. That's going to be the number one fought over thing here, right? Oh yeah. Like there's going to yeah. be. I mean, there's a different line at all times. It has different surfaces yeah, for sand, uh, rough, uh, fairway bunkers. It, it also the it, yeah the, it simulates the angle. Yeah, that you're angles. Hitting. It has a motor. Yeah, to lift it. And then it like auto tees it up, like yeah. tee comes from the ground and puts a ball up oh, there. That's so you don't, you could golf eighteen and not bend. Yes, yes, that's and it crazy. has like replay technology. So yeah, I to see detects like smash factor, head speed. I would love if you got sick at golf. They had me do a swing for the swing, demo video, I and rigid. I went OB. Oh, what's mm -hmm. OB? I haven't even seen out of that. bounds. Out of bounds. Ah. You're out of bounds. I'm out, way that, out of bounds. Isn't that Guy Fieri? That Ooh, taste is out yeah. of bounds. <laughs> was that what he was saying? Yeah, I think he does it out of bounds. He says out of bounds. He says out of bounds. I'm going to the home of Guy Fieri tomorrow. What? Columbus. Columbus. Oh. Yeah, Wait, you're out tomorrow too? Yeah. He was from Santa Rosa, High California. noon event. When are you back? Monday. Fuck. I know, guys. And you're out too, Mook? Yeah. Sponsors, man. I think we have Will in tomorrow. Damn it. Ah. Oh. So the I like boy, playing with him. Yeah, no, the boy's good. The that boy's a, fun. He's fun to have around. I don't know anything about unicycles. That's a nice one. It looks nice. Wait, yeah. is that already put together? No, no, he's no, no, putting no. it There's together. Did like you not see the first? Of... I think we're gonna need a second person over there. Yeah, you want me yeah. to? That's I, I can I can punt on this. I just got. Oh no 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 no. No. I don't think so, buddy. This show doesn't end until that unicycle. I think is useless. I walked outside and saw it. I was like, yeah, I gotta bring this in. No no no. Show doesn't end until one of us gets three pedals. Yeah. I do feel like a some sort of this is like a tragic story where like the you're watching the guy buy the gun that in in. The, the end of the book yeah, It's the yeah. gun that he uses To kill himself you Yeah know? That's how I feel Putting this together Like You alright man Someone's I am hurt. going to die From this unicycle <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm currently Everyone's watching me Build the thing That will kill me And like It's like the guy know, Maybe an hour statue maybe an hour in Denver. for now I was just reading that Yeah The big horse statue At the Denver airport The guy who made it Got killed by it, it? killed his sculptor How? Oh, fell, like fell on him that's such a how pussy soon, way to go uh, out. Uh, how, how soon after he made it? Dude, I don't even know if it was like, it was probably as soon as he was done. He probably said, voila. 
<laughs> and then it just fell on him. Yeah. That's not, I think that's kind of Can cool. we see that horse? They call it what? Blucifer, the horse? That's part of the uh, Denver a, there's airport a, there's the being whole... cursed, right? Like, that's part of the theory? Yeah. Is that, that's one of the bullet points. Is that the, I never it's dove a, into that. Either the blue I. Mustang. What a sick. Lucifer's a crazy name. Killed its sculptor. Lucifer's Lucifer. a great name. Look at that thing. Did kinda, Frankenstein's monster kill Frankenstein? Oh, uh, it would be so embarrassing if his corpse oh, was blue from the it might sun have. dried. Yeah, so it's it's his, it's a it's a tragic trope. In the segue. Wait, they, they Jimenez was that. killed in 2006, uh, age 65, in his studio in Hondo, well, New it. Mexico, where one when one of his sculptures. Three oh. sections came loose from a hoist, pinning him against a steel s- sport beam and severing an artery in his leg. He bled to death on a studio floor. It was before it was finished. Guys, wait, wait a minute. Oh. Wait a minute. Yeah, if tough. you look at the, the segment before that, after missed deadlines, the city sued Jimenez for $165,000. Jimenez. <laughs> and it paid him. Jimenez. So they sued him. So he was probably hurrying up because the city oh. was breathing down oh. his neck. The or he killed fucked. himself because he was in such debt. What a terrible way to go out. He. It sounds like... He was just laying there, couldn't move, bleeding out. Next to this horse statue that cost him 300 grand. Oh. Staring Blucifer in the eyes. Oh, my God. Do they call it Blucifer because it killed a guy? I think it was always Blucifer. That's horrible. As Jimenez's name. <laughs> Can I go look at the golf simulator? I've been busy all day. Um, I'm going to look at it. fucking sit in here for an hour and a half. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> I just want to go look at it. Fuck. All right, go look at it. Go. 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 Have go. you seen it yet? Yes. Yeah. We all saw it. It. We've I haven't seen, seen it. it. I haven't seen it. It's yet. It's off. Yeah, you have. Yeah. I mean, I, I was. You were taking a look. You, you played s- nine. You were standing there. You played right, yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Titus yeah. has the I'm world sorry, yeah. record already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry, yeah. He, he has the record on the screen. Go see it. I don't want to see it. Kyle's right. I, I was going to sit here and I can see it after. Yeah. He's right. yeah, are we inconveniencing you? No, Kyle's always is always. The show, is the Kyle's show my, Kyle, always. Is this show an inconvenience to you, Brandon? No, it is not. I just was thinking y'all were talking about it. Got me excited about it. Pop up. Stop that. You need a nap? Stop. You need I a nap? Pop up's tired. I don't need a nap. We're going to have to put you down. I don't need a nap. We're to put you down. I don't need a nap. Okay. Speaking of uh, putting people down. Um, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, Chris Broussard. <laughs> <laughs> the best clip ever. Yep. <laughs> can we play it, TJ? Uh, the no. best clip ever. <laughs> we can't play it. I why have, not? Yeah, we can. Why not? I just talked to the uh, Viacom. Wait, why can't we play it? Wait, what? I guess it's your call if we can play it. Wait, are you saying we? I'm asking you. Can said we a play word it that's the word. YouTube? Why can't we play it? All right, fine. We can play it. I mean, it would be like us unbleeping the case race. He, said, we, he literally said it was okay because yeah. he, he, his cousin, he, he put he him just down. Put him, he's uh, developmentally. He's, uh, he's literally safe. tried to say, <laughs> all right, we got to play it. We got to play it for the people. <laughs> it is so good. So good. <laughs> Brew crew's down bad. Are you, are you the leader of <laughs> yeah, that? Yeah, you are. Yeah, I am. Mm. It's, um, Do, have you made a statement? I said Brew Crew down bad, okay. but we'll make a bounce back. <laughs> I might have to put the Brew Crew shirts on the they're, store. They're down all right, that's for sure. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. yeah. All right, here we go. He's going to move, it's not going to work well. Nick, I what? Think James, I is think, the I, man I, retarded? <laughs> <laughs> oh, with ah, emphasis. Developmentally disabled? Sure. Uh, to think that he is going to go to the Clippers <laughs> where they have Look Kawhi Leonard as the number one option, Paul George is the number two, and still Russell Westbrook there he, and think that he's going to he, okay. shoot 25 I'm, times I, a listen, night? Listen, I didn't know what you were going to say tonight, today. I'm, I'm shocked. This is not going to work. What, what's let me let, let me apologize for using that word. Oh. I, I have a, a my first cousin. I, we just put him to. He died. A few <laughs> he was developmentally disabled, so I didn't. I, think, I didn't mean to use of that course. word. Of course, I don't. Like, of course, I to the audience and Oh, well, that's, that's what, very kind. Of, what, I don't think anyone would did, kill you for it. Oh. Did he? I don't think anyone would kill you for it. Did he? <laughs> was he about to say we just put him down? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We just took him. Uh, we took him out back behind yeah. the barn, uh, yeah. and it, we. Uh, he died. Yeah, we saw. He also didn't know if it was one month or two months ago. He was like, "What? You know, he died one, two, one month ago." I, there, we were so close. God, that's so funny. So funny. But now, like, that's gonna be the funniest thing. Like, oh, he's acting like a dead cousin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, you're being a dead cousin, it's right? Broussard. Yeah. <laughs> Hank yeah. was saying, like, do you think at, at Broussard's cousin's funeral they were like? Man, he really he really reminded me of James Harden. <laughs> like that's apparently what Chris Richard thinks. His, now he's he's in a he's a wild guy. He's been on the air forever. Yeah. 
He's never had the slip up like that, has he? Um, no, I know that he doesn't like gay people, I believe. Um Yeah. <laughs> that's that's probably a slip up just to have that sentence. Well, he does the religion, like that's why. Uh, okay. Um Yeah. I would, yeah, he's so funny though. He gets shit wrong all the time. The, the, can you find the clip of when LeBron decided to go back to Cleveland? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. my favorite. Yeah, so what was it? He he <laughs> LeBron went back to Cleveland. He <laughs> The news was broken in a Sports Illustrated article that was like posted, like it was a LeBron, LeBron did a photo shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. LeBron had the writer come to his house, do a whole thing, and then they break it on Sports Center. And Broussard like looks at his phone. He's like, "Yep, I'm confirming," with the Sports Illustrated story <laughs> behind him, like being like, "Yep, just confirmed. Yep, LeBron to Cleveland." It's like, yeah, we know it's behind him. It's okay, the Sports yeah. Illustrated story. He's he's just a funny, funny, funny guy. Have you Weird met him? Guy. He's come on the show before. Really? I think I have his phone number. Done deal. LeBron to Cavs. Credit to Lee Jenkins. But no, can you find the video? <laughs> confirms. Source yeah, he was confirms. live on air. For, with like, <laughs> yeah, he was. Yeah. The whole confirmed sources game is like so funny. So funny. Like Woj battling Shams, battling Chris. Do, yeah. do you know what Woj did? He's a psycho for the James Harden thing that uh, broke at 2 a.m. I think Monday night. Yeah. I was listening to Woj's podcast. He got to New Newark Airport to take a flight to L.A. at like 7 p.m. And someone texted him saying, don't get on that flight because there's news. And he sat in the airport till midnight, went home, took a shower, broke the news, got back to the airport and took his flight. <laughs> what a beast, dude. Yeah. Beast. Do those guys dislike each other? Yeah. Like, are they, yeah. are they oh, like, yeah. trying to oh, sabotage yeah. each oh, other yeah. with well, like, Shams, bad info? Shams yeah. is the um, he was Woj's protege. So, Shams so he worked this. with Sh Woj. I thought he was just doing this out of his like dorm room. It's like Shams does kind of. He has a little bit of that, yeah. But he he what Woj like brought him up through the ranks. Now Shams trying to destroy him. I want to see a prestige esque movie between two guys that break news. <laughs> yeah, and just yeah. sabotaging. What? Him. Um, so what is like the where is skill involved? Like what can you do? Sourcing, networking, get... networking, but not a ton. Like they, these guys spend every day thinking about their competition and who's gonna break. Like Shams yeah. probably woke up on Tuesday morning and was like, "I will never sleep again." Because I that's what this. they live. For. Do they yeah. have the, good the lives? Are they happy? No, that that high, the, they need that to feel. That's happy. a huge rush. I've gotten to know Schefter a little bit. I would say he's happy in that, like he likes his job, but I don't know. Like, he has to live with like. Never ending dread. He can never relax. He can Fire, never just relax. Like the prestige, yeah. Right. Because the minute you don't get something and someone else does, and you always, it's basically like being a doctor on call all the time. Yeah. And it's just as important as being a doctor. More. Yeah. yeah. Heart I was, surgery. I was uh, recording the fantasy football factory with Hank, like my first year here, and he got a text from somebody that worked with. Um, Golden State that Clay Thompson tore his Achilles and Hank got to break that. Oh, I saw him get to do that. It's thrilling. Yeah. It was awesome just to yes. see and be around. It's a rush, but it's also yeah. I don't know how those guys. Do you have any moles? Do you have any people that you could? Could you get into the game? I could probably. You got get people. In the game. Yeah, but I don't know if I'd ever want to be in the game. Just to get it once. I've gotten a couple. What did I get? We broke a couple things on PMT. Like, like is Shams like grooming kids in the Wizards like intern department? Yes. yes. Like, I I did have a beat for a while, which ruled for like there was probably four years in a row that a stoolie worked for I think Nike, and he sent me the what the teams would wear if they won the Final Four, <laughs> and I tweeted that in. It, like before Ravel for like four years in a row, and oh, that was awesome. That's awesome. That's yeah. amazing. Did First that, look. Did that break him? Yeah, oh, he was so mad. Yeah. So mad. First look. That that ruled. But yeah, they, like, what if you're wrong? And everyone yeah. Just, like, yeah. Shits but the, on you. Those guys, they're wrong every once in a while, aren't they? Ish. Yeah. They're not very, they're not wrong very often. There's a lot of guys trying to be those guys who are wrong All consistently. The time. Material change. Yeah, there's, yeah. Is there any penalty for being wrong? No. 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 Throw up there's no stakes. Yeah. Woj was wrong in the uh, NBA draft when he, he was saying Jabari Smith, number one, 
all the way up until yes. two seconds before Adam Silver came on stage. That's and he's right. Like, Something's changed. Literally, nothing changed. What changed was you had bad information. You yeah. dumb, you dumb bitch. Woj. I hate Woj. <laughs> you do? So, oh, I fucking hate. Yeah. Him. You like Shams? I I don't really like any of them. But well, Woj, you gotta pick a side. I I hate the profession to be completely honest. Okay. But um, I'm I would be Team Shams over Woj for sure. Woj Woj is by far, without question, the worst scooper in any sport what why, where's he's, a, he's a horrendous human being no, I've, he's I've, just like a horrendous yeah, person no, really like Schefter like he also doesn't like Woj does not give a single fuck about basketball or the NBA or anything. like he's in it for himself right like and I think Schefter, Schefter I think at the end nice of the day guy. Schefter's yes. like a nice guy yes. who like does enjoy football like once like it, I'm, I'm sure when Schefter goes to bed at night he's like I'm helping the sport of football in some way or whatever Woj doesn't give a fuck about any of that Woj is just like I am Littlefinger, and I want to build my empire. And this is does he have if, a network if the, if the NBA spies? if the NBA folded, yeah. Woj would just go find something else, and then do exactly what he does with the NBA with something else. I hate him. Yeah. But anyway, I'm gonna go back to building. You gotta a build a unicycle every time you deliver a hot take. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have a second Yak account where we just throw up shots, and one day we'll get credited for something? I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, like those accounts that uh, go private and they predict like every outcome. Yes, and then it is it is so stressful though because I had uh, the one scoop that I had that was like actually worth something was when UCLA fired Steve Alford. Um, I had that news. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people did, but like I, I got a I got a tip that they were going to fire him uh, the next day. I stared at it. I, I searched Twitter. Like th this is how I confirm scoops that I get is I go to Twitter. And I'm like, well, no, no one else is saying this. And right. Then I thought, <laughs> you know what right. I mean? I'm like, this, this is probably not true because no one else is saying it. Uh, I realized I had the scoop. I, I crafted the tweet. I sat there and thought, like, what if I'm wrong? What if this isn't good information? Got scared. Didn't tweet it. Woke up the next morning, and that was, like, the story in college uh. basketball. And then I realized I'm not cut out for this. No, it's, no, it's like it's, it, can't, You dude, can't have any uh, feelings of yeah, emotion. Uh, yeah. Or, or what, yeah, what happens if I'm wrong just haunted me way Double too much. Double sourcing, yeah. yeah. So. I love thinking about like Woj, like Varys from Game of Thrones. He's dickless. Has yeah. no. Other, yeah, he is. He's yeah. dick, dick and ball. He has yeah. no other motivation besides scooping. Wait, oh, yeah, that was Varys. I thought it was Reek. Is the same guy? They, there were pan. There were a lot of There's dickless a couple people. dickless bulls. Yeah, oh, the Unsullied yeah. world ballless, right? Yeah, they get sniffed. Yeah. How are you doing, Titus? Uh, Breaking news on Sports we Center. Uh, we're all sitting here trying to figure out what's going on, and it appears Confirmed. that it is confirmed. <laughs> <that> Sports <laughs> Illustrated confirmed. posted <laughs> story on his... James' voice. Watch it again. Him looking at his the phone. Piece, I'm There's nothing on. on his phone. LeBron no. James is going back to Cleveland, and you have confirmed it's this. Tell us what you know. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, this is why he rocks. Sports Illustrated. Lee Jenkins is his man. Yeah, Let's talk loved, about Lee Jenkins. He loves and his, Lee Jenkins, yeah. the, the, the great Sports Illustrated writer, and he co-wrote this piece with Lee Jenkins. So as soon as this popped up, you, you, knew, you it knew it was literally, the real deal. Le, yeah, LeBron uh, co-wrote it. Been decided for a while. <laughs> so that, tell what LeBron co-wrote it. They didn't write that this morning. <laughs> but he acted I mean, like he got it directly yeah. to well, him. Yeah, him, yeah. him confirming LeBron James saying, "I'm going back to Cleveland." Mm -hmm. Hold on, did you did you <laughs> did you catch the end where he was he was like putting it together? He goes, "They didn't write that this yeah. morning," which means this has been out there for a few days. Which yeah. means he could have confirmed I'm it. Not, I did. I yeah. I don't have this. I never yeah. had the story at all. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jerry's here. Hey, Jerry. Jerry. Yeah. Couldn't find it. <laughs> you couldn't find the Axe Studio. You've been here before. Yeah, but I've never been in the, in the, in the, in the studio. Yeah, I, haven't yes, you, you have. You've been on this. Sh mm. Have you been on the show since? No. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess we started not last week. One. Oh. Hey, not here. Okay, yeah. well, welcome, welcome, Jerry. It's beautiful. It's really cool. So they do the audience get to see that? Or no? Not yet. Not yet. Um, okay. But yeah, soon. Uh, the reveal. Monday? Monday, I believe. Uh, I actually, I think it's going to be Thursday, because I think Hank wants to wait till we put out the video. Tomorrow, or? No, next okay. next Thursday. I'm pretty mm. sure. There's Stu and Sandy, <laughs> Jerry. That that golf simulator is pretty oh, nice. I'll tell you what. I hate work. I hate going to work. <laughs> I love okay. going to work now. Yeah. I mean, you could just be there for eight, ten hours. Yeah. <laughs> ten hours. <laughs> and just hang out and just go golf. to the fridge, get a few cokes. Yeah. Golf. Get a few body armors. Just golf. Say what's up to the people that are watching you up top. I mean, what could you ask for? Yeah. Yeah. And you got your, your boy who just started today. Yeah, Lucas. Yeah. Oh. Yes. 
Should we get Lucas in yeah, here? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lucas. Yeah, go get Lucas. Let's I, I don't know where he is. I okay. Well, he's your boy. I can text Reed. Uh, so you know Lucas what? just started? Want... Lucas just started. Let's introduce the act to Lucas because he's a weird guy. He's in the coaching tree. He's in the coaching he's tree. He's in my coaching oh, tree. Oh, he is? Oh, Are yes, you, he's a TJ coaching tree? Oh, Wait, yes, TJ, sir. is he... You got Lucas. What do you mean he's in the coaching tree? He's number four in my tree. Oh, you're you, he I'm answers to you. Oh, yeah. I thought it was just wow. So if you need anything. Wow. Lucas. Yeah, TJ's his boss. TJ's his boss. Mm -hmm. Lucas, come on in. Yo. Here's Lucas. Go ahead and sit right there. What's up, Lucas? We always build unicycles yeah. on the yak. Mm -hmm. Unicycle Wednesday. Okay, so Lucas. Well, let me take a picture of you. I'm going to tweet it out. Yeah. Lucas, what uh, give us your backstory? How'd you get here? Um, do I have to wear these? No, you don't no, have to. No, not at all, man. Wow, kind yeah, of an know, alpha I, move, I, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He already I'm decided like he wasn't yeah. aware. <laughs> I couldn't uh, fit it on my big head. Well, they, um, they adjust. <laughs> yeah, it's too much work. I don't want to fumble it. <sighs> oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. I know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hot start. Yeah. Hot start. Yeah. He's an um, alpha. You said my start. Yeah. Well, yeah. So you. So for people who don't know, uh, I'll give my side of it. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Jerry was, it all started last year. Jerry was complaining to Hank that he had no one who could edit his stuff for him. Hank said, Jerry, learn how to edit. It will be funny. So Jerry learned how to edit. And really, he just found Lucas, who was doing the editing for Jerry. Meanwhile, Lucas is working at a P.F. Chang's. Uh, and Jerry, I think, was telling him, like, oh, we'll hire you, we'll hire you. No intention of hiring him. I found out this year that Lucas was making Jerry's videos, so I was like, I'm going to give Lucas credit and say that it's Lucas. And then Dave came on the pro football show. He's like, what do you mean it's Lucas? I was like, Lucas makes these videos. And Dave's like, well, we got to hire Lucas. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Um, <laughs> okay. But not, not really, not really, not oh. really. Oh. Um, what was the plan from the jump? Well, that was so I. Well, what just say the plan from the jump? The what plan was the plan? The, okay, okay, so I messaged Jerry, uh, Jerry and his buddy Kevin. They're doing a Steelers podcast, and I, I was fresh out of uh, grad school for social work, and uh, I hated it. So I dropped like a month in, and so I messaged wait, them. Wait, wait, wait. Fresh wait, out wait, of grad wait, school. Yeah, sorry, wait. sorry, my fault. My when fault. you say fresh out of grad just, school, that definitely implies that you graduated. Yeah, grad no, school. no, didn't. I graduated undergrad, not grad school. You were fresh um, out of dropping out of grad yeah, school. Yeah, <laughs> out of dropping out. Okay. Fresh that was a wild way. Love the spin. Love the spin. Uh, my fault. My fault. Spin zone. Um, but yeah, I was. I taught myself to edit, like in a couple days, and obviously still learning and stuff. But I messaged them, and they got back to me. So I was doing behind the scenes stuff for Jerry for a little bit. And then he tweeted out, I forget when it was, but he's like, I need to learn how to edit. Someone want to teach me or something like that. And I was like, oh, I'm going to lose my job. So I, I texted him and then he called me and we had this idea for the Jerry edits. So we did a couple. The first one was like Kenny Pickett. The second one was like Justin Fields and stuff. And then we didn't do much of it because copyright, whatnot. Um, and then pro football show comes around for this year. And Jerry's like, can you do the edits for this? And I was like, yeah, sure. And so I did it. Uh, I got the footage and stuff and his Madden footage. And then uh, I was watching the show and you go, you go, it's actually Lucas edits. And I'm watching it at like three in the morning the night before it comes out. And I wake my girlfriend up. And I'm like, what the hell just happened? Yep. And it spirals from there. I met Dave at a Starbucks. Yeah, I met him at a Starbucks. I thought that was wild. I thought we would get uh, recognized, but. No one came up to us. Um, we? We? Yeah. <laughs> Dave and Lucas? <laughs> oh, man. Lucas from Lucas and Jerry Edits? D Dave from they Barstool, should. Lucas from grad school? <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, he did call me crazy. He said I had crazy vibes the next episode, and uh, I took that to heart. I feel like I don't have crazy you vibes. You don't. You're good. Well, You're good. I think the microphone headphone thing was a little... Well, there was no audio coming out of it. Wait, so what, why do you think he thinks you have crazy vibes? Well, that's what he said. I was watching. Uh, I was watching it at the bar with my buddy, and uh, you were watching a YouTube show at the bar. Well, yeah, I had to see the what was going on with it. You okay, know? crazy um, vibes. <laughs> and so he's like, he's like telling the story, and he said I had crazy vibes to me, and I was just like, I didn't think I was that crazy. Right, crazy maybe, vibes. Maybe is nervous. From, is from but. Dave. Just walking into a Starbucks to meet a stranger. 
that's, yeah, that's, that's true. That's crazy. This oh, was he a wasn't planned just meetup. Coffee? No, yeah. it was a planned meetup. It was. Oh. Yeah, so it was a they recorded. It was like week two or something like that. Whenever Dave was first on it, uh, I was like sick in bed, and I tur- my phone was dead, and I turned my phone on, and I've got like a text from Jerry like forty five minutes ago, like Dave wants your information, and because you then, lived in Florida and Dave obviously lives in Miami. Yeah, and it was. I don't know. Fate is the word, but I was actually going to Miami the next day uh, to the Hard Rock with my girlfriend and her uncle. And uh, what were you guys gonna do there? Hard we were watching rock. this kid. He had a concert to go to, so we stayed at the Hard Rock, gambled a little bit, mm. babysat. Oh, nice. Um, and so I was going the next day, and I remember I was at. I had to work at P.F. Chang's the night before. I was like, I was in my shift, and I was like, man, I gotta work this damn shift serving people and tomorrow me and dave portnoy for a job possibly yeah so it was it all happened so fast like 24 48 hours and do you think that jerry would have kept you secret if i didn't find out jerry no. yes but also that was the no no no, no, no. Uh, that was the bit and like I'm, right but you the I was there, fine what, it wasn't a bit that you were working at pf chang's and wanted to work at barstool and no one knew you existed no, but I understood that it was, was a real grind. life. Yeah. yeah. I, I had a good situation where I didn't need the most money financially. Okay. So I was willing to grind it out. You know, it was like, want to do something that I love, not a I job. like that. I like that a lot. But the bit had to die for me to get a job. So mm-hmm. I'm kind of okay with that. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. So well, now. It's a good trade. You just yeah. moved to Chicago. Did you get an apartment? Yeah, I've got an apartment downtown. Your girlfriend come? Uh, she's helping me move in. She's not living there right now, possibly in the future, but got it. Uh, and you report to TJ and what are you going to do? Um, my role is editor. Okay. Um, I don't really have much information other than that. Okay. I've, okay. That works. Yeah. I've, I've got ideas. I've pitched to Jerry and stuff you like, know, to, like, um, man, I, I have them all in a PowerPoint. I just forget. Well, go get it. I would love to see the PowerPoint. Go get the PowerPoint. Oh, yeah. I think go I have PowerPoint. it on my it's phone. Okay, perfect. You send it to me. It's in, it's yeah. in the text. Okay. Send it to TJ. Lucas, we've see. met. We have. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Wait, Lucas, whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. Nice. Well, no on. way. Uh, uh, I want, I want you to, introduced me. I want to hear this. Wait, Lucas, what's up with the phone case? Pirate Dan. Oh, my God, yes. Yeah. Um, I, wait, wait, wait. Look at his phone case. Wait. Oh, hell yeah, Lucas. What's up with that? Um, I got a new phone a year ago. Show to the camera. Where's the camera? <laughs> so you stole a 13-year-old girl's yep, phone. Stole No. Uh, I was at... I got a new phone, and I was traveling. <laughs> it's concerned, Jerry. <laughs> Jerry, that, you Jerry, don't like Jerry that, this dude. is a red flag. <laughs> yeah, you hate that. That's not bully that's not. That's not bully heart. We it was straight over here. <laughs> <laughs> Chill out, Broussard. <laughs> okay. um, I, I got... It was whenever this phone had come wow. out, um, so I had to get a case, and I wasn't going to spend a lot of money on a new one. Uh, right away because there weren't many officers that had just come out so I was at the five below and that was the only one they had that fit my phone and I thought it was really <laughs> this funny is crazy. so my girlfriend has this the same vibes, one but green yeah. I like this I think it's funny yeah no but you do I, I'm kind of starting to see what Dave's saying like crazy like not you're not crazy you're a little off which is good that's this is literally What's the home that? for off people <laughs> yeah. that's the, the whole reason that Barstool exists is so look you- at Jerry you I'm on. Jerry's off. I'm on. <laughs> Always on. How many other Lucases do you have? One. Okay. Wait, so when did you meet him, Nick? We went to the power, went to power came together. And you were there? Yeah, they uh Jerry flew me up for the Pittsburgh for the softball game. So those clips for were what? to record him at the softball game. And and you were paying Jerry's phone bill? No. Uh huh. Why did, that, you, why did you why look at him before you answered? Yeah, well, yeah, well, that one look. you looked at him and then answered. Because, well, I told he told Dave that, and I told bit. Dave I couldn't. Oh. Yeah, I didn't want to lie. So were that one. Do, I, what else were you doing for Jerry? Um, memes. a lot of meme meme memes. stuff, memes. a lot of video edit stuff, video. Uh, stuff like that. Fragrance. Yeah. What, Brandon? Oh, you can keep talking. Uh, no, know. that was that's all. I, What's your signature like editing move? Um, explosions. Well, yeah, I love his videos. explosions. That was yeah, that was it. Good. Explosions um, are awesome. I've got to I've got to rebrand that just because I can't yeah, pretend look, like I'm dumb. Here's a Jerry edit. <laughs> <laughs> See, he's a good editor. Yeah. 
Self-taught? Yes. No kidding. Yeah, a couple days, right? Jerry, it's, t- it's tough looking at you without a beard. What are you talking about? <laughs> In this video. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Oh, my God. Jerry. How did that happen? Jerry. What the fuck? <laughs> I think this is right around Gina. Oh, my God. That's so bad. <laughs> it was a little shocking when I saw it right there. Lucas, did you quit P.F. Chang's in, like, a civil way? Or did you go out, like, guns blazing? Yeah. Um, well, this all happened, like, a month and a half ago. So a smart person would have kept working and made money. But I got the taste of not having to serve. So I was giving up, like, every shift. And yes, then I think sir. I no-called, no-showed my last shift. Yep. Good Thank man. you for your service. Yeah, yeah. Good Thank man. you for the, your service. I didn't know you served. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, wait. Yeah. So, can you send the PowerPoint to TJ? I did. I think. Okay. I think I, I gotta give him that. Jerry, can I ask you, you a question? Yeah. You still doing the Steelers podcast? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. I still do it. Why is that interesting? Oh, it's just interesting. That's all. It's just very interesting. What? It's just it, interesting. It's not on. It's not on. It's not under Barstool. I know. I know. I it's mean, it's technically the, under Barstool. Oh, are, no. are you with, talking about more cowbell? Remember when he wouldn't let? One day wouldn't let me do a podcast. More cowbell. Right. He wouldn't let me do so it, but he lets Jerry do it. So bring it back. But he lets Jerry do it. Have at it. I don't. Listen. I don't really ask. I get twenty five percent of Lucas. I, you want me to give you ten percent to? No, have I don't want any. I don't want, any, I don't want any of Lucas. All right, I got twenty five percent. Well, we don't. We don't I use don't no want a percent? resources for Barstool. No, no, I wasn't going to either. He wouldn't let me do it. Nah, yeah, I just on, do it do anyway. It. Do it. Huh? You can't just do it anyway. Do it. Well, I I like to. You could do anything on your own free time. No, yeah. that's not what I was told. No, that's what I remember? think. That's a do you fact. remember? Do you remember? I don't remember this conversation specifically, but I I'll bet back the fans you up. Remember? I'll back you up and say more cowbell, greenlit. Lucas said it five percent of his time. You just said ten. I'm down to five. I mean, Mississippi State's bad. It's not about that. It's about well, how yeah, much what, can you talk if, about a bad team? Yeah, what if that's the difference? It's just that. Yeah, you'd think that if Mississippi State was good, more Cowboys yeah. wouldn't be bad. I mean, the Steelers aren't good. They have more fans. Well, they're four and three. We're all right. But he, you just Big said last base. night that you were laying in bed crying because they weren't any good. I did. <laughs> Lucas, are you diehard Steelers? I am, sadly. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Why sadly? Not sadly. You guys are a good organization. It's, it's, it, yeah, but. People don't see the other side of it. That's the problem. What do you mean, winning every year? It's not just. Like, nine and eight is. Is whatever like that's just mediocre. I, you're. I feel like a I lot of people would disagree. Yeah. No, not uh, not not for eight straight years. You wouldn't. No, yes. Seeing a couple <laughs> a couple Super Bowls while you're alive is 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 that's what hurts. Well, what, you, it's all you can ask for, yeah. right? Like, uh, You'll be back. No, Steelers. No. You think you're done seeing Steelers Super Bowls? I think we're done. What? what? We're done you seeing- and me. Yeah, me, you, Lucas. I think we're done. We're never going to see one. <laughs> I don't think all so. Three God damn it. What's the chances of all three yeah. of you? No. One of us has to. Lucas, how old are you? 22. Oh, oh Lucas, Lucas is going to see one. Well, well, like, that's what you're saying. I was like 10. I don't remember the exact year, but I was like 10 when they last won one. So was I really conscious for that? Did I really Ten? understand? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I understand yes, you the were. Struggles. Very conscious. <laughs> the struggles of a... Uh, like a bad concussion that year? <laughs> this boy got dosed on Halloween. <laughs> Who's to say? I was, you were 10. Yeah, but I didn't understand how... I didn't realize how good I had it. Yeah. 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 You're Me born either. into... I had, Ben Roethlisberger was the only quarterback I ever saw until last year. Are you a yeah. Kenny guy? I'm a Kenny guy. Okay. I'm a Kenny Ryder. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Jerry, are you a Kenny guy? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, the things you were Nick, saying. Are before you a the Kenny show, guy? Come on now. What do you mean? The things you were saying before the show. Well, yeah, he has to go out and prove it. He has had oh. 20 games now. He has to go out and throw for multiple touchdowns. Has to throw. For... I think you were doubting his injury. Well, I said Ben Roethlisberger played with broken ribs. I was a little concerned why they were bruised and he couldn't go. I guess when he came out at halftime. He couldn't push the ball downfield, and he said, no. I've watched other people, other quarterbacks, play through those type of injuries. That's all ben I said. Ben Roethlisberger. Big Ben. Nick. When's the last time you've texted him? Kenny? Kenny? Every day. No, I haven't in about a week and a half, two weeks. Uh-oh. So have you ever got a little, uh, you know, little I did. I, well, the last time, you know, the last time we talked, I was like, the season was like rocky. You know what I mean? So I was like, you know what? I'm not going to push it. I'm going to. You know, the team's not great right now. You know, they're struggling. Let me give him some space. He knows you're there if he needs you. Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. He knows. You haven't texted him in th- two weeks? I mean, I can give you the exact date. Send him like a meme. I don't Wait. know about that. Send him a meme. Send him a meme. Yeah. 
What you mean? Um, the, the, uh, maybe a kitten hang in there? No, no. I think I think something a little, little, little raunchy. Oh. Oh. October 9th? When was that? Uh, it was about three Two weeks, weeks ago. ago. Two, Two weeks ago. October 9th. Did you leave them on red? Uh, no. No. I didn't leave them on red. No. No, he answered. And then I answered, and that was it. That's. I mean, you have to text him. Text them the. Um, I mean, what do you want me to say? Like, how you feeling? The Alvin and the Chipmunks head meme. Which one's getting the best head? Yeah. Just send them like three crying. Emojis. I just texted them. Say, I hope your ribs are feeling okay. That's, oh, that's three nice and a half weeks. I ago. just did. I hope so. Two seconds ago. You're on the text chain. Okay. Yeah, I'll text him too. You don't have his number. Yeah, I do. How do you have it? I have all NFL quarterbacks numbers. Really? Every one. Dan. I got them from Dan. We should. Go, that was a good idea. Somebody had. I forget who had the idea. We should put them all in a group text. And like do something funny, yeah, that'd be really funny. And put put on Bleach Report where they're like talking shit to each other. Yeah, we should put their phone numbers on the barstool store. Yeah, on a T-shirt. <laughs> Black Friday. Yeah, Black Friday. Buy a shirt, you get a quarterback. Random number. quarterbacks number. Yeah, we can. <laughs> I pretty, like that. <laughs> yeah, I started the conversation again, so we're good. Yeah, I mean, I, I said, just, why why is Jerry not text you anymore? But oh. don't come on, Dan. You're in ruler. Huh? Bro, come on, Dan. Why do you play games like that? Well, I mean, you should text your friends. You're like ruining relationships. No, I'm not. Oh, he just wrote back. Thanks, man, with crying face emojis. So oh, we're that's good. good. I said, Kenny, it's fucked up. Jerry doesn't text you anymore. I'll take over. I got your back. Hope the ribs are okay. You always like to put me in these spots, man. Well, you put yourself in the spot by not texting. If my friend didn't text me for two weeks after a loss and a rib injury, I'd be like, I wanted to give him space, dude. There's a difference. I'm not I'm trying to be pushy and whatnot. You know what I you mean? You could just say, good game. Go get him. You're right. I guess so. Yeah. You should be a good friend. Yeah, I'll be a good friend. Whoa. If I lose, if I if I lose betting, and you don't text me, that would be hurt. True. Yeah. Is that thing ready, Titus? Uh, I think it's ready. Oh wow. I think it's ready for Lucas. I need like, what kind of tools we got back there, Che? TJ? I don't, I don't think any. Uh, we need are? like a wrench of some We're sort. Surrounded by construction, There's construction workers. workers. Yeah. There's definitely people. Up. That have a I need like maybe a, someone I can test it out first. Tighten this nut. Yeah, no, we should have somebody test it I out first. Tighten. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. Ah, <laughs> that would have been very funny. <laughs> but yeah, we're close. We're close. Uh, do you have the PowerPoint, TJ? Oh, here we go. Let's go. <laughs> Lucas Ideas presented by Jersey Jerry, Jerry by, by Lucas. Lucas. <laughs> From the brain tree of Jerry edits, hashtag business wise, hashtag bully presentation. I haven't seen this in... A week or two. First, just you're starting with a thank you. Oh, yeah. and this is good. This is a clean design. Who is this too? First, thank you. Thank you for your time this morning Someone. or night. Time is valuable. Second, the debate. You read it, Nick. Uh, second, the debate. Parentheses. Really, really good idea. <laughs> bullet point one. JJ versus Chase slash Rico debate sports topics. Uh, second bullet point. Third chair moderator is another content person to be determined dressed as a woman. Oh. <laughs> Example, Molly on first take. Now, could we find a woman? I think it would be funnier if someone yeah, dressed and as also one. You'd like guys. that phone case yeah. of yours, huh? Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> Jer, oh, I don't know what Jerry. you got yourself into. I don't know. Uh, first take style based on current events and sports. Okay. They, wait, this is a really, really good idea. The debate. You had a lot of extra space on the other slide. <laughs> uh, what a twist. Uh, the debate continued. Why it works. JJ is extremely vocal and passionate about his takes slash feelings on sports. Rico, if he comes to Chicago, is a natural master debater with good chemistry with JJ. Che is much calmer, but sticks by his takes no matter what, even when he's in the minority. <laughs> he always does. <laughs> <laughs> well, not, not actually. Well, yeah. That's true. Yeah. A billion people over there. Uh, third member staying quiet, only speaking to moderate, dressed as woman. <laughs> <Will be fine. laughs> okay. So we don't, we, even, as a, even as a man dresses as a woman, we don't want them talking. <laughs> That's what you're yes. saying. Okay, got it. Oh, oh it's Nikki Smokes. Okay. Oh, God. The debate. Colorized. Colorized. Okay. Yeah, pretty good. This is crazy. Jeez. Have you seen this? No. I said, I said, I said the like, debate <laughs> still? <laughs> All right, yeah. It went the right, debate. The debate continued the debate. Yeah, this is uh, great. How, when it works, record two times a week, Monday and Wednesday, Thursday. Not a live show. That's Green smart. Yeah. That's smart. Not a live show. Video ideally 12 to 30 minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That is a wide. <laughs> Not a podcast. Everyone and, and everyone can make a podcast. Uh -huh. So what is this? 
So like a like a vi- twelve to thirty because you know sometimes you have more. No, but like anyone and anybody can make a podcast. What is oh, this? Oh, anyone and their mom can make a podcast. Oh, with like so, so I'm saying like this is a video. Yeah. Okay. Got the um, <laughs> kind of a diss to podcasters. That's okay. No, 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 no. That's no, no. that's not that's not. None what I'm of saying. us here have a podcast. No, no. Uh, get a wide selection <laughs> of topics. Ask their opinions beforehand and see what the topics they disagree on and those for the episode and use those for the episode. Could be an extension of the hashtag healthy debate brand or its own thing. Oh. Brent, especially Rico is part of this. Okay. It's a good idea. Next, Next idea. idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Jerry plays Michael Jordan. Uh, <laughs> Jerry versus. Jerry versus. Click to add text. Click to add text. <laughs> really versus. good idea. So the other one was really, really. Yep. Yeah. This one's just really good. A video series centered around JJ challenging fellow employees and professional athletes at various sports. Where in the where in the barstool sports office, offsite locations. When once a week. How matches against other employees will be chosen by random chance, such as the wheel. Matches against athletes will be predetermined, either their sport or multiple. All right, all right. Jerry versus why it oh, works. We're, we're Jerry's still going. sneaky athletic. I like that. Which would Thank make yeah. for a competitive yet humorous content. Who wouldn't want to watch Jerry one v one LeBron? I <laughs> I agree. Yeah, I agree. I, I absolutely want to watch Jerry one v one versus LeBron. <laughs> never score. Yeah. He wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Oh, never yeah, score. yeah, probably, probably not. not. Okay. Yeah. All right, I had your back there. All right, might be a stretch to get him. Jerry edits revamp. This Mad- is what we're doing. Madden this... footage seems to get old. It seems to be getting old combined with the fact that people know it's not Jerry. Put Stu in the booth. We could do a Rob Riggle type skip oh. where we try. Oh, is it bad that we're giving this stuff away? Well, this one we're this one we're doing right now, so yeah, this, this one is probably doing. okay. Yeah. We could do a Rob Ribble, Riggle type skit where we try to give Jerry's picks on the game of the week in a comedic fashion, pre-recorded, or Jerry could commentate on footage as he is the announcer and add some more entertainment value to the edits. Good idea. Good. Yeah, this should have been a good idea. Yeah, this is a, this is a good. You didn't give this one a chance. I think I just threw this in after JJ versus the world. Whoa. <laughs> in- <laughs> Plenty of opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> well, Jerry attempts to achieve Guinness World Records in various sports. Plenty of opportunity to do this in the new office with a ton of space available. And look, he showed how much space is available. Yeah. Yeah. On there. Yeah. 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 What are some like examples? Like uh, most touchdowns? Well, that would be uh, JJ versus like, the sports one. Yeah, come on, Kyle. So this is JJ versus the world. <laughs> so what is like a world record in sports? Oh. Least amount of points scored against LeBron. But that's probably not a world record. That's but you Jerry know, like, verse. Got it. There's a there's a big area out there. You could do like longest shot stuff like that. I don't have the examples like, off the dome. I don't dome, think you could have enough room for the longest shot. Yeah, yeah probably not. Just took but a like, shot from like the top of the Plano to Khalifa. Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like this. These are good ideas. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Do we, oh, there's more. Fragrance Friday. Someone new in the office brings fragrances to be reviewed. Well, that's a cool one. Yeah. That's a cool one. Do you have to be a cologne? Why didn't you read this, Jerry? I read like the first parts of them. I didn't Can get I, this far. <laughs> I want to put it on the record. Uh, I sent it to Jerry. He yeah, told yeah. me to send it to him. He didn't read it. Okay. I, I, I read some. <laughs> All right. Is there more, TJ? Yeah. Oh. Smaller ideas. Smaller. Okay, go ahead, Nick. Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, smaller ideas. Rapid reactions after favorite teams' games for people... At Gambling Cave, sickos love watching when your fave teams lose. Immediately after game, have your designated room with a camera where they'll be left alone for a few minutes to vent or praise their team's victory. We'll get best unfiltered genuine reactions and emotions. That's actually pretty good. I like that. I like that. Mm-hmm. Cooking contest. One person cooks every week for a panel such as the Yak. Video the cooking process and tasting. Worst reviewed has punishment at the end of the season, like taking the SATs. <laughs> I like that. That's a good one. <laughs> The smaller ideas are really good. Smaller ideas. Yeah. Yak plays <laughs> dog. I like this. I like yeah. this. Yeah. Right? More to come. There will be more to come. I am just getting started. <laughs> okay. Oh, Hell yeah. Is that the last slide? Oh. oh, oh wait, that was TJ. Yeah. That was – you You got some good ideas. Thank you. Appreciate that. I like really, that. really good ideas. Really, really good ideas. Self-proclaimed. And some really good ideas. Yeah. And some just ideas. Small ideas, too. Small <laughs> ideas. No, no ideas too small, too big. <laughs> I'd agree with that. All right, so... Are there ideas that are too small? Hmm. Podcast. Hmm. <laughs> KB trying to smoke himself miniature. Oh, that's yeah, that's small. way too small. <laughs> that's way too small. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, what, did you, uh, yeah. what did you want to do in social work? Um, well, my degree is in psychology, and I was graduating in the summer, so I like didn't have a lot of programs to choose from. 
social work was the closest to like uh like therapy that i could get in the time frame i was in so because you can do a lot with a social work degree you can't do as much with like a psychology so i was just trying to do something i could you know if i didn't want to do therapy that was what i the goal was but if i didn't want to i could switch it up the yeah. social work is very broad yeah, yeah right on like that's like kids with autism that could be stuff like yeah, that. yeah yeah stuff like that you don't make nothing no nothing nothing yeah minimum wage the, but boring people too i was the happiest mm. when i made minimum wage whoa that's a fact i've said that on <laughs> there ain't no way i've said that on record multiple times we have a golf simulator you're gonna play for 10 hours a day yeah you don't i get yeah, what you're saying yes I get it, but like I didn't have like no worries. You Your know world I mean? is small. You yeah. don't have worries. How many right worries now? you got? Oh, I have. Like what? <laughs> every worry. You have every worry. Every worry. If there was a worry, I have it. Like list one worry. <sighs> Getting to work on time in the morning. Coming too fast. Okay, that's a good worry. Like when you're making minimum wage, you're not even coming. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> like you're not you're like you're not having sex with girls. No, there is. Making, a, oh, you're making true. minimum wage. Yeah. True. Because what, like, you're I so didn't high. think about yeah, that. What more. yearly are you coming to? Like, what what pay do you need to start worrying about coming? Sixty a year. Eighty. Eighty. Yeah. Yeah. Anything under eighty, you don't have to worry about. Exactly. It? Yeah. You would, would rather say. not nut than nut too fast. Exactly. I would say eighty a year. You're fighting for your life. You're thinking of your dead grandpa. Re- yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you just gotta keep. Yeah. You gotta keep her happy. What other worries you got? Um. How much are you going to spend at the grocery store? What's the budget this week? Stuff like that. Like, you're making minimum wage. Like, it's like, whatever. You're eating ramen noodles. It's like, there is no budget. Okay. I kind of actually see what you're saying. You know saying. what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. stuff like that. Simpler life. <laughs> okay. For instance, more money, more problems. Exactly. Yard work, right? I was paying somebody to do it. And I say, you know what? Fuck that. I'm capable of doing it. Let me just go do it. And I was out there the other day for about seven hours. Doing it and it was miserable. How big of a yard you got? The leaves are the problem. Do you have to rake them and bag them? <laughs> and I was like, dude, I never even had a yard when I was making minimum wage. Right. Those are the type of things I'm getting at. Got it. Now there's every worry. So do you every want a pay worry. cut? Is that what you're getting with it? You want? To... <laughs> this seems like a bad no, negotiation I mean, I don't, tactic. I don't want a pay cut. I think you want your mom to move well, out to Chicago and be your landlord. No. No. no okay. I'm tired of her. It's... Oh, yeah, she's here right now. Yeah, she's here. She's here. Yeah. She's just loud. That's she liked the house? Loves it. Yeah. Okay, she's awesome. Crying and stuff. It was good. It was good. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. We'll, we can but don't you have it. more, like, right now, you have more work. Less. Right. Like, cavemen, they didn't worry about anything. They just had to kill their food and procreate yeah. their yeah. hunger. Yeah. That's all they worried about. I can't believe hunger. you have no worries. I have worries, but I don't think, I don't, I think that's more responsibility. Mm. Kids and shit. It's I guess. like life. I guess, yeah. Is it what? what? Oh, Stu. Oh, 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 I'm not on here, though. Yeah, no, it, you are. You are. Oh, you I am. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I think what Jerry's, I mean, talking about it, it, it's absolutely growing up. I mean, yeah. I mean, he's, you know, he's an adult child because of his, you know, past history and afflictions and diseases. I can relate to that. <laughs> the only time I ever worried in my life, I don't worry. Like, I just don't give a fuck. But when, um, I ran the marathon, and then I, you know, I bought an eight ball for my son, my oldest, and then I'm snorting it off my. Wait, from or for? From. Okay. Because he said, "Dad, after you know," he says, "I got because I wanted great pot after I ran the marathon," but then I said, "Then he said I got I got great blow," so I said, <laughs> "All right, let's go." So then, you know, that night I run the marathon, I fucking kill it. Tiki Barber barely beats me, and um, I'm snorting the coke off my um. <laughs> Wedding picture, because what else are you going to snort her off of, right? Yeah. So then Sandy's not real keen on Coke. And uh, so then he, my son <laughs> asked for a favor for money, and I finally shut him down, because that's all he ever does, and is oh, my shit. oldest. And um, Jesus. he rats me out to my wife that I snorted a fucking eight ball. So, she, so I come back to the house, and her, her bags are packed. In the bedroom, I'm like, oh my are we God. going on vacation? <laughs> it's got dark. Fast. And she's like, uh, no, I'm leaving you because you're a cokehead. I'm like, Sandy, I've started coke twice since we fucking got married in 28. She goes, well, if you ever do it again, we're, we're done. So that was that was the only time. So I your really, worry is my worry is that I'm gonna get caught do doing eight again. Got it. Got it. So that's yeah, that's worry that's kind of. Can a... we rewind to the very beginning? <laughs> yeah. Jerry's a child. No, no, adult. Like we're addicts. 
okay. me and Jerry, right? We're, we're actual gutter drunks. We're addicts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of that, we, we had a stunted growth when we grew up. Physically? Mentally. Okay. Well, physically, yes. Look at us. We're five six. We haven't grown. I'm five four and three quarters. If I'm two inches short, I'd be perfectly round. So, but I'm Nikki dead serious. What I'm saying is that emotionally, addicts don't grow up. Addicts don't deal mm. with any stress. Addicts don't want and anything can overwhelm an addict to put him in a circle to go back to his substance. But I think what Jerry's saying, like, every, how many years you got sober? Almost nine. Okay. Eight. So in other words. And how many years were you, at? were you active? Four. Right, so four years. Four years is equivalent to losing 12 years of real life. Oh, my God. So no, and is so true? 100% true. I know it because I've been in rooms my whole life. Wait, but, in... but what Jerry's saying, though, I feel like Jerry, like... He's very sensitive, growing, is my point. Growing my... up is, like, yeah, you add... It's, I don't think it's worries. It's responsibility. Yeah, I guess, I guess, sensitive. Listen to what he said. I have more responsibilities than I did when I was 22. That yeah. doesn't mean it's, like... Worse, yeah, but like I don't know. I guess you're right. But, no, you know but what I'm I mean, saying, like having a house, having a kid, like those are responsibilities. You, but the, you never get worried, like oh my god, like no, what what god you're forbid, sharing something is, happens. No, normal people are happy with that, Jerry. Yeah. Normal, normal people don't think like you just shared. Yeah, because it's overwhelming. Like what you, if, you never worry, like god forbid, you live oh, in the what ifs. if I die, how are, like who's taking care of all these things? Right, like no one don't care. Not really. That ain't got nothing to do dead. with money. That's a dark thought. No, yeah, really. it's an addict thought. Way to go. Stupid. I thought you're not. Nice. Yeah. I mean, he might be right. I mean, no, he is no, right. no. He's a recovering addict. He's in the rooms. He has a sponsor. But what I'm saying is, I, I only could tell you from my experience, I've been an addict since 17, that your mental way you look at life is not the way other people look at life. I like. I like how we're having like a semi deep conversation, and I look over, and Titus is just Making building a unicycle. Yeah. Yeah. Nose yeah. deep in a fucking yeah. unicycle manual. Can I, Big Cat, can I ask something? <laughs> yeah. First of all, I saw the new office. It's incredible. It's absolutely fabulous. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. It's nice that finally you have your own space. Yes. So that you could fire Max. Yes. But be that as it may. Yeah. Um, no, he's right about that. Uh, what I want to ask Max is forgot that to press has the anyone today. has anyone fucked here yet no yes uh, Whoa. oh you have Brandon. No, no, someone has no, no i don't think so I no would, one has uh, no i, 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 I no. survive so fuck sandy right now no, here i'll be the first no, person to no, break i smelled no. sex uh tuesday morning mm. upstairs oh, so, so i, I want to be the first i'm not no, the no, first nobody's the last, nobody's so fucked sure. downstairs we probably need to ask nikki smokes yeah nikki smokes definitely fucked here probably um i would say Wait, Titus, how is the unicycle coming? Uh, <laughs> we got some nuts we need to tighten, and we don't have wrenches to tighten them. We got to find a wrench. Oh, Lucas, a billion, a billion percent of I got, yes. I got a piss. Right. I'll find a wrench. I got a piss. L Lucas, Lula. go find us a wrench. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Lucas will get us a wrench. The bathrooms are beautiful, by the way. Yeah, them. bathrooms are nice. Bathrooms are mm -hmm. beautiful. Everything's phenomenal. Everything's amazing. This is like a dream yeah. come true. It is. It is. Uh, can you do the high noon ad? Yeah. It's time to load up on the ice and break out the oversized lawn games because the High Noon Game Day Pack is back. It includes limited edition fan faves, pear and cranberry, along with black cherry and grapefruit. It's made with real vodka, real juice, 100 calories, gluten-free, no added sugar. The High Noon Game Day Pack is a fall exclusive, which means it's here for a good time, not a long time. So go get it while you can. You can uh, visit highnoonspirits.com before your next tailgate to find a pack near you. I'm going to miss these when they're gone. Mm -hmm. But I'm taking advantage while they're here. Yeah. Yeah, Max forgot to press a button today. Just one button? One button. But he did everything else, right? Yeah, but that's the most important button. Mm -hmm. It's like forgetting to pull your dick out when you're in your you journal. You, you remember can't to piss. do that. Yeah. Yeah. Got my whole day off on a wrong foot. So you, you woke up before everybody else. I woke up at 630. Saw everyone tweeting at me, being like, where's the show? Where's the show? And at the, in that moment, they hate you. Hate. <laughs> hate. Yeah. It's the only, it's the most important button to press. The upload button. Yeah. And yeah. then I called I didn't even know that Max. He didn't pick up. Called memes. He did pick up. And then he pressed the button. Okay. Where yeah. was the button? I think it's just, maybe it's at Max's house. Max has the button. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. So you uh, have to uh, press the yeah. button. At, at what's, what's the penalty? I don't know. I we we just did advisors, great advisors coming up, me, Stu and Jerry. My problem is I'm too big of a pussy. Yeah. 
I don't think so. I think uh, you, you just need the right penalty. How did think? he express like sorry? He said, "I'm so sorry," and I was like, "It's okay as long as it doesn't happen again." But like, that's a pussy thing for me to say. Did he have an explanation as to why it happened? Did he, he fall just asleep on the up. job, or? yeah, he just fucked up. But like, I don't, I don't have well, it yeah, in what me could to you like realistic. What would someone better than you do? I I feel like there's definitely like if this happened at Fox, yeah, yeah, like you might be fired. Oh, you're fired. Yeah. 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 You're fired. Like, I don't, and I, I obviously don't want to be Fox. And I also, like, I love Max. So there's never even a world where I was like, oh, he's fired. But I, there's got to be another level of me being a giant pussy and fired. There's got to be something in the middle. I think every Eagles game, you have to make him squat along with Jalen Hurts every snap. Oh, I That's like a good that. Movie. Yeah. Yeah. But it didn't actually cost you money that it was late. It was just a very big Listen, inconvenience. Listen, I know it didn't, it probably didn't, but I, and maybe this is just me being a psycho. I do believe that there are, I don't know, things that, can, that you should never no, a hundred wrong. Say a hundred people who Missed didn't out. see it there. And then they listen mm-hmm. to another show and that's that. Yeah. And that they're gone. Show they're could, not coming back. Yeah. They could have loved Maybe that's a psycho thing for me to think, but that is kind of how I'm wired. Like you have to be there for people constantly. Yeah. Yeah. Are, are the Phillies an excuse for Max just no. not being a hundred percent on point? He also, there's a part of this. He might have also been given a little bit of a bonus yesterday. Oh uh, no! Oh. And then this happens. Oh no! <sighs> wow. But he does listen, even though he he did make a mistake here, and you did threaten him that it, he said I didn't threaten him. Oh, it'll never happen again. Though, I just right? said it can't happen again. Right. So I mean, that's a threat. That's a threat. I guess so. But but the problem is, he knows me that I'm a pussy. So if it happens again, what do I do? But it's never I'm happened like, again. Never happened again. again. Wait, what did he do? He does great content. He didn't press the button. That's the worst nightmare. Yeah, but like, like that is my worst. That is nightmare your one thing. Ever. Like Max does a ton of but, stuff. I love Max. He's incredible at his job. He's great for the show. You got to press the button. How yeah. th- this feels like an easy thing to not fuck up. It, like you can just literally look at the feed. You can't go to sleep until the button's right. been pressed. Never mind the button. You can just see you go to the feed. Is it on the feed? If it's, it also, not, if it's not on the feed, right. the button has not been pressed. It's, it's also really like, bad because like it would he would get a little bit more slack if it was a Sunday night cuz we finished recording at like midnight and they don't stop editing till like 3 in the morning. We finished the whole show at 4 p.m. yesterday. Mm. That I button's got to be pressed. He's yeah. used to pressing the button later. <sighs> you got to like run him or something. Yeah, Mac, right. Tire him because out. I think yeah. that I am. I think I'm a mark. I think I'm a mark is like a, a boss figure where people like know that deep down I don't really have it in me That's to like. Just a natural internal leeway feeling that everyone at Barstool has because it's Barstool. Like I'll I'll yeah. show up. You know you late do? to this show because I know that I can. Yeah, but that's actually <laughs> fashionable when you do it. Like, I like oh, that. pull it off, yeah. yeah you you know what you should do, Big Cat? You should uh, send him to Perth for 28 hours. Ooh. We uh, did that because you've been doing a really yeah. good yeah. job. Yeah. your gift. What about that ice box over there? Oh, yeah. There is a walk-in ice freezer. Box. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you Get take freezer. someone's clothes off, you put them in the ice box for four hours, they'll fucking never not press a button again. Uh, they'll There's be a, dead. But, but a, here, Big Cat, I can, I, can, I, can I offer a suggestion? Because when I ran a big place, when I had 220 full and part-time people work for me, uh, I was not able to confront someone and either fire them or reprimand them properly. Mm-hmm. I either cut their heart out or I just became like a pussy. But what I did is I hired a bulldog. Like an actual maybe one? Je- maybe Jerry could be your bulldog that if that someone idea. needs no, a riot act, Jerry either. reads them the riot act. No, I like people. I'm too nice. I like All right, people. so there's got to be some scumbag here that doesn't Nikki give a smokes. fuck about no one. Hey, Stu. Yes. We have a chair. <clears throat> oh, really? Should yeah, I go, you sit? go sit? You can go sit. No. Yeah, Take I need a bulldog. Brandon, did you find a wrench? You don't need the mic. The wrench will be delivered. What? Delivered. What? Oh, is that a euphemism? No, the yeah. uh, <laughs> the construction. Honey, got the wrench honey. on the way. <laughs> My God, there's a lot of juice in those yams. Yeah, I'm gonna have to deliver the wrench. <laughs> the, uh, oh, ho, ho. <laughs> the construction oh. guy is coming over with the wrench in a minute. Uh, all right. Nice. There's a trampoline park right over there. Yeah, there is. Send Max over there. I, I like the squatting every time Jalen so Hurts squats. For the yeah, entire, just play along because it's Cowboys this week. Oh, it's a lot of squats. Yeah. Uh. Just have them don't watch the game. The button's got to be pressed. I don't really what know. What type of button are we talking about? I think it's just a... On our, on our website's back end, you have to publish the podcast. Yeah, The don't it. fuck up button. Oh, yeah, so he recorded the pod. Everything was set. I called memes at 7 in the morning, and memes was like, oh, yeah, he didn't press the button. Let me press the button. And then it was up in 10 minutes. Do you oh. think there's one part of my take fan that said, this is it, I'll never listen? Yeah. I do, I do. And maybe this is be. the psycho in me, but like... 
I do think consistency being there for people is very important. <sighs> Schedule. Like we are consistently there in your phone. You break that, the whole world might crumble. I think he's got to get a blonde streak in his hair. Okay. Get he does have to get. Oh no, PFT's got to get a perm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, PFT does have to get a perm. Okay. Well, yeah. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I. I don't. He's. he's Still. He's think? built up enough equity that I don't like. Think that a real punishment, but there is that nagging feeling of like I'm too so like. If I was harder, I feel like the button would always get pushed. Yeah. You know? Like, there would never be a non-push button. You're a player's coach. I'm a player's He's Mike coach. Tomlin. Yeah. yeah. He's Mike Tomlin. Maybe I need... You know what? Maybe I just buy a button and we make him push it for the entire stream. Yeah. Just, like, memory. Just pushing the, the button. Stream. Yeah. <laughs> just the entire stream, he's got to push One million button. presses of a button. How long would that take? <laughs> you could just put him in Put him in the middle here, put him with a button, and every one of you get in his face and just scream, press the button! Yeah, like... Push the fucking button! Conversion therapy? Yeah, what job? <laughs> Thank you. Push the button! Turn that down. When was the last time you, like, threatened a man? Like, literally threatened Yeah, something? like a real yeah. threat. Put your hands on him. Like on a telephone or in person? Yeah. Uh, yeah. In person. Uh, I mean, a real threat. Like yeah, I was like going to follow yeah, through yeah, with like it. Like threat. I had my gun cocked and loaded. Right. Yeah. Probably a decade. Okay. Yeah. That's, That's good. good. That's real, I mean, really, yeah. like I was willing to go to jail and whatever the consequences. Mm -hmm. face Wait, it, was it like fatal? Like a, a deadly threat? Um, No, a guy owed me money, <laughs> didn't want to pay. <laughs> <laughs> every every time we turn around, Tyus is building. Sorry, sorry. No, no, no. Oh, I think it's off. very funny. I kind of. It's wanna... like we're having all these conversations, serious conversations, and you just pan and Titus is. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about addiction and then like threats. Yeah, and they're building the funniest what mode Titus, of transportation. Titus, I just, Titus the is seat was looking loose. at a man. Wait, the... is it set? Uh, we're still waiting on the wrench for the 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 nuts on the bottom, which are KB. Get, hop on that thing. You what is that called? A unicycle? It. Yeah. It's a yeah. unicycle. You can try it. I, I've it, tried to do it. It's impossible to do. Nah. I was never capable. KB is going to be the best here. By far. This, for sure. Okay. Can yeah, that way. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's Oh, that better. was a real. That mm. sucks. Pro move. What? It sucked. Do I have to put the seat down? On and a then unicycle? To clamp it. On a Wait, unicycle? is the tire going to fall up? It's going to go right oh, through God. the TV. That would yeah, be funny. It's going to happen. Oh, God. Oh, I think you have to go. start bipedaling and jump on. Like, yeah, push forward yeah, and jump so on. So not a good idea. Okay. You got okay. it. You're good. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Oh, I think we need some air in that tire. Yeah. When oh, they, oh, so, oh, shit. Yeah, that tire's flat. The tire's so flat. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it you're is never going to do it. It's flat. Tire's flat. You got it, Kyle. You kind of need, like, a running. Oh, a he thing. had a running oh. start. And you got to be careful start of your penis. You have to be careful with your penis no. and get a running start. No. Yep. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing, man? Oh, 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 I don't even know what you're doing now. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's abort, embarrassing. Abort. That was almost impossible. That Wait, felt so unnatural. What is your sweatshirt? The Ravens. I love the Ravens with a... <laughs> what is it? I didn't even notice it. I love those Ravens. <laughs> I didn't notice it. No, Dude. it's one of the more subtle sports shirts. Yeah, that's a fire sweatshirt. That is a sick sweatshirt. Can someone else show like how hard that is? Just I'll give it a go. Yeah, what if Mook just does it? <laughs> this would be yeah, I need a bike pump. I feel do like we have a, a bicycle pump. Yeah, we need so. we need to pump. Up it the wasn't tire. the also, air thing. I just wouldn't be able to do it. I can't imagine a carpet as a great like surface to unicycle. It's you're going so lower hard. That's as low as it goes. Looks like it's as low as it goes. Did you ever do that, JJ? No. I don't even know if I know how to ride a bike. <laughs> what? You know how to ride okay. a bike, I haven't Jerry. rode a bike in forever. But you can't forget. But it's literally riding a bike. Mincy can't ride a scooter. Nah, well, that, th there's a lot of things. <laughs> okay. Have you ever tried that, Brandon? This was as good of an idea. No, Brandon, Brandon, Brandon and I are in the category of We're not catastrophic Oh, no, injury. I'm saying yeah. have you ever in your no, past like, life. No, no, no. Catastrophic yeah. injury. Just topple yeah. over, bike oh, no. in your Ass, face broken. No, there you oh, go. Oh, 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 oh! That was it. That was that. So yeah, you got to start you go. one with the top at the top, and then and step push down. down on yeah, it. yeah. Oh! Okay. I think the fact that it's flat and it's not rolling after flat you put yeah, your weight the flat, on it. The flat's the problem. 
you have to like aim. I do think this was a great idea though for the I office. I do too. I, I think do having, too. having this lay around in the gym when we get this thing open is. Well, here. Is going yeah, to be just awesome. unicycle Fridays. Here, I'll, Who I'll can be, ride it the yeah. longest? <laughs> Big Cat, is there a gym oh. here? An actual gym? We're going to buy like, some oh gym. Oh, I actually have to take text Pete and ask him if I'm going to buy it myself. <laughs> yes, we're going to get a squat rack and weights and everything. Awesome. Phenomenal. All right. Uh, there you I go. Got this move. You got this. Here, you want me to come hold the unicycle? Yeah. Hold it. You got to get the unicycle up. <laughs> More vertical. Lean toward you guys got him. Okay. Good friends. Ready? Oh, it's gonna break. Ooh. I, I, there you go. Nut, okay, there you go. yeah, this is exactly. There's a nut. How there's a nut. Oh, oh no, <laughs> there's a nut on the ground. Yeah, there's a nut. <laughs> Damn it. Nut fell. You had it though. Oh, ah. That was close. Hey, Che. By the way, welcome back from your suspension. He was Thank you. Happy to be back. He was suspended. He held, he held. Whoa. Oh hell yeah. Okay, I like this boys roughhousing. All right, I'll let go. If you let go. No. Strong KB. He's got a good lower gravity. We'll call that a draw. Okay. Brandon's got a force. Oh, he's a monster, Brandon, if he got mad. He's a monster. He is. That was Are you I'm the strongest that. person in this place if you got mad? Huh? Yes. Are you the str by far, right? Not by far. But you are. I yes. don't know. Yeah. I'm stronger than you. In an anger situation, I'm much stronger than you. Oh, yeah. The yeah. strongest, like, brute strength. Like, if you put him in this mm. corner right now and... The problem is stamina because I'm, I'm out now. Oh, I'm out. You can't breathe right now. No, correct. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst feeling in the world, not being able to breathe. Yeah. It's tough. Probably. Sucks. When you Scary. choked yeah, me out. When you choked me out last year, that was horrible when I couldn't breathe. When I choked you out? Yeah. When? During, bar, during sports advisors. What For, happened? Actually first, you threatened my life that if you ever do anything, you said to me, I'm going to fuck you up. I would fuck you up. I would fuck you oh, up. Oh, yeah. We were play you fighting. You slapped so me, and then I choked you out. Correct. I didn't you, mean to actually connect, but you and then I had to choke me. you out. Oh wow! You did choke me out. I did have to choke. You I out. thought that was going to be terrible. You lost yeah. consciousness. Well, what happened was this: we were slap fighting, and I had a little bit of an edge, and I really thought long term this is a bad idea for me to win this. <laughs> so then I went to try to pick Big Cat up and Fireman's carry him, which was my major move when I was a wrestler. Ah. Uh, Instead, he just fucking choked me out. Yeah. <laughs> that was, it might have been the worst that. move I ever made. I went yeah. down under his legs. Did you tap? You didn't tap. Damn straight did, I tapped. You tap. would not let it go until yeah, I tapped. Right. That's right. That's I right. was I, choking well, for that's a good what, 15 seconds, and then that's I tapped. A cr no, you that's said, correct. You said to me, as a man, I'll let you out. Just tap. Tap. Yeah, you got to tap. And I tried to weasel out of it, and I could not. Respect the tap. Could not. Choke him Yeah. Respect the tap. Yeah. It's a good idea for Max. Punishment. U out? UFC guy come uh, in. He's and gonna lose Max is lose big. You ain't choking Max, Max out get so punished. quickly. He's gonna just lose consciousness. Put him on Ozempic. That would be the worst thing ever. <laughs> Buy Ozempic and put him get on. Hot? He gets he get skinny and hot. He's never gonna get skinny. He will be throwing up with headaches and <laughs> I think delusions. That, I think you're the only one who tried to beat Ozempic. No, I think people are so vain that they don't tell the real story about the drug. Agreed. Uh, I believe me. I tell everything. If I could have lost weight and it was good, I would have. You, you said it gave you delusions. Um, I was delusional. Oh, I yeah. was like, I was, I had a headache. <laughs> I was, I, I felt like I was on a bluefish <laughs> charter boat, throwing up in twenty-foot swells. I was That's dizzy. It was, it was gross. But do you think maybe uh, you were withdrawing from like food? No, he Ooh. eat. No, no, no. Stu's leaving. I out ate the, the wrong things on it. Stu's leaving the, the part. And I didn't I'm, know you're not I'm supposed to pretty eat on it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure with Ozempic, you're not supposed to like try to beat Ozempic. No fried foods, no <laughs> ham. He tried to yeah. like go mano y mano uh, versus like Ozempic. Eat his normal, your, your yes. normal diet. Yes. <laughs> so, I don't really yeah. understand it, but it feels like everyone who said it, it's like suppresses your appetite. And Stu was like, no. You can't suppress my appetite. I'm gonna beat you. <laughs> right? I, like I went to the yeah. I, went, I went to eat a meal and I couldn't. And I felt like a eunuch. I yeah. felt like someone cut my balls off. Like, who am I? That's I can't eat. Eunuch reference so I'd rather there. just die of yeah. diabetes. Damn. We're hot on yeah. eunuchs, dude. Uh, Steven, how, how did you deal with your suspension? It was tough. A lot of uh, public criticism. It's called the worst suite ever. You guys talked about it on the rundown on here. But live to play the next play. Yeah. Quarterback mentality. Will you be tweeting any coats this weekend? If I see one, I'm not going to force it. But if I see you one, for well, you did force it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you? Jay, Jay, was there any truth to my theory that you have a database of jokes <laughs> at the ready, and you just cut and paste them into no. occasions? 
Not true. I will say I did personally workshop that tweet for about three minutes before sending it, and that was what else. <laughs> How is my best option? I didn't bounce it off anyone. It was just a uh, you know. If that's your best option, don't send it. Don't press send. Um, <laughs> what? What? Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. So you saw the picture, and what what went through your head? Like uh, he looks like a, a stern teacher. No, see that. I mean, obviously, teachers don't physically look like JJ Watt. It's more commenting on his outfit. They and, don't dress and like that custom made either. Pink yeah, suits. What subject did he teach? I had a math. <laughs> Maybe Miss Frizzle wore that once before they went in a dude's ass. I, I had uh, multiple teachers growing up that had coats like that. Multiple. Where'd you name, name, name three. Miss Wagstaff. Um, she did. She did. Yeah, that's a good that's point. Good. Wait, yep. she had a hot pink suit with Correct. a kerchief. It was, it, was, it, was like a, it was like a loose sports coat, but yes. She was, she was like probably 90 pounds. And it would she a, say, can you? Yes. So did you think that reference would land on a lot of people that you think a lot of people had teachers that looked like that? Dude, if people in my middle school follow me, that thing would crush. All the, the Miss Wagstaff <laughs> class yeah. Yeah. was yeah. going yes. crazy. <laughs> yes, <laughs> for, for sure. <laughs> this is, if you put Dave Portnoy with glasses on and a suit, I always thought he looked like a social studies teacher. If you didn't know that he was the mega mega, he looks like a social studies teacher. I All can right. see that. Maybe. With glasses. It looks exactly. Well, I thought so. Yeah. I guess anyone with glasses. Yeah, I guess that's true. Nerds. <laughs> what is it about glasses <laughs> that. Uh, just makes you look like a nerd. Why? Yeah, why is that? How does that happen? You can't see. Like, yeah, you're you weak. You stupid fucking idiot. You, you want to punch in the face, they'll better? break. You can't <laughs> see. But how does that, how does that make you smart that you have fucked up eyes? I just think it's because most nerds have glasses, therefore glasses become smart because they're most nerds. nerds have glasses? Yeah, I don't understand the correlation if you really think yeah. about it. Like a, it guy, a guy has fucked up eyes, so he's putting shit on his face to help his fucked up eyes. And therefore, I now, by default, think he's smart. Maybe because he's always reading. What are you doing right now, Titus? What are you doing? He's, he's, what are you right. doing? He's chicken yeah. and egg. Are you destroying egg? the nerd I don't know how that started. Don't yeah. do this. You're going too okay. far. Okay, sorry. <laughs> no question. yourself in some hot water. <laughs> don't question what has been a, a rule of a life staple. Hey, for Nick, hundreds of years. You're not a nerd, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> Titus Titus questions this and the entire world crumbles. Yeah. Like, yeah, wait, just why like, are geez. they nerds? There's just like a bunch of bad vision people <laughs> uprising <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> yeah, Titus was right. He finally spoke to us. <laughs> yeah, why are we nerds? Because <laughs> you guys it? told us. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that is one of those ones. We just. I don't, just know. Don't, yeah, I don't know the chicken egg situation yeah. with that one. That, uh, it had to be like some weakling, some actual nerd. In cartoons, the, the guy with the glasses is always smart. Yeah. I guess who would have been a glasses? Ben Franklin? Is he the guy? He's the bifocals. bifocals. So yes. No, I yeah, the glasses are bifocals. What the fuck? Are, what was yeah, that? What was bifocals, that are well, bifocals are different. Bifocals yeah. are different. These are bifocals. That's when That's the lenses are split. It's like half short, okay. half long. Okay. All right. So me and the other. All right. Are yeah, but thing. they already existed. He took the glasses and changed he them a split little bit. The Salvino De Marte. Bifocals aren't glasses? No. Yeah, what? Okay, so now you are a fucking Bifocals nerd. are no, glasses, but glasses existed. Mm. He just took them and made them. These aren't bifocals. These Wait, are glasses. What are bifocals? Bifocals are lenses that like two different visions. So if you want to see far, you look on the top half. If you, you want to see down. close, wow. you look at the bottom half. Yeah. Oh. That's so, not really. Yeah, so a lot of people got myopia from not being outside and instead reading and looking at tech. Uh, then they got gl Is that what that says? Oh. Huh? I wouldn't hate having transition lenses. And they become mm. sunglasses. Those are cool. Steve, Steve, Steve you have those? Of course he has. No, I've been wanting to get them for like two years, though. Why don't yeah, you? Like splurge. Man, I would say the two biggest nerds on the show do wear glasses. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. And KD, when he gets on his nerd shit, he puts, puts them, them on. on. Yeah. Man. Stu, I love you. I love you. Stu, you want to put your I finger in? You. A, you want to put your finger in a mousetrap? No, I don't. I, I'm good with. I'm good with emotional pain, not physical pain. Okay. Emotional pain. <laughs> You're good with like heartbreak. No, like let's say if I like let's say we oh. leave and we're on the way to the airport and the Uber's coming and a train ran over Sandy. She's dead. <laughs> it would hurt, but I can get over that. You yeah. want to put your if wife you in my trap? In my balls, I would be a bitch for You're not week. getting over that. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. You I know what it. I mean? Like, yeah, I know. You have a high no, emotional No, that makes pain. perfect oh, yeah. sense. Yeah. Right? 
yeah. the love of your life one of those dies. personalities. Yeah. I can deal you with can deal any with emotional pain, pain. Finger in a mouse trap. Physical pain, Over. just not me. Like you grab me, you put me in a headlock, stop punching me in the face. No. I'm immediately grabbing your balls and putting you on the floor and choking you out because I don't, I can't deal with the emotional pain. It's one of the reasons I was not uh, or physical. an A plus athlete. I stayed a C plus with a big heart. Right. Because mm. you need to be, you need to be in pain. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all the time. Yeah. Is anyone a great athlete here? Yeah. yeah. Not so, great. Yeah. Were you in pain? Huh? Yeah. You played in pain all the all time. All the time. Right. All You're the not time. good with physical pain. All the time. No, I played through it all the time. But that's what I mean. It's You have to have that mentality. It's horrible. I don't know how people do it. You know what I just thought of? I'm a bitch. What do you think of? You could put glasses on any girl and they get hotter. Rachel Lee Cook. I thought you have to take the glasses off. I thought that was the trope. No, I think it's you got to keep well, the glasses Well, yeah, you did. You I did. thought it was like... That you remove the glasses and you're like, holy shit, that that was hot the whole time. time. Yeah. No, no, I think you take the nerd's glasses off, she becomes hot. But if you put glasses on a hot girl, she gets hotter. Yeah, oh, <laughs> but that's just that librarian look. Sexy that's, just, librarian. Oh, that's just a hot chick being a hot oh, chick. Yeah, she's you hot put librarian. On. No, I'm I'm hot, I meant any, any girl it for sure. I think you could put glasses on any girl. Any girl, but he's right. At the end of she's all that. He did take the glasses off and he was like, fuck. Yeah, this girl's hot. That's the trope: is you take Katy Perry. Yeah. I think it's just we like novelty. It would be the same as like we we're more excited about a very hot redhead just mm. because they have red hair. Yeah. Nope. Shout out Julian Moore. Big shout out. Oh, shout out. God, Jesus. I love her. Chastain. Jessica Chastain, another 10. Christine, love her. Christina Hendricks? Oh, Jessica oh. Chastain is the best. Heavy titted. Oh, Heavy titted. Jessica Chastain is smart. Did you see the movie the with, with it was uh, Liam Neeson, Julian Moore, and Amanda Seyfried where she fucked... Liam yeah. Neeson for Julianne Moore because she convinced Julianne Moore Liam Neeson was cheating and then Julianne Moore ate <laughs> Amanda and then also what Amanda movie? fucked Julianne Moore's son did you ever see that movie no Liam Neeson I, I guess I don't <laughs> have to uh, anymore Amanda uh, wait, what do you what? mean she it's ate? one of the greatest movies she ever she made someone fuck and then ate her she she <laughs> ate Julian Moore's pussy in the movie. Oh, oh, Amanda Seyfried and Julian Moore. I mean, that is one of the greatest scenes ever. Amanda oh. Seyfried was eating Julian Moore's pussy. Ever. Yeah, it's Paw Patrol too. <laughs> That's not the movie. Oh, it's a. Gr it was a great movie. <laughs> TJ, Chloe, can you please? Yes. Yeah. 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 It was. I'm telling you right now, that movie was a ten. If uh, you're a pervert and if you, you know, you like watching women eat mm. women. Which who doesn't? You have to you have to put another word in there. Like they eat the pussy. Oh, fair enough. Eat. We thought she Cannibal. literally right. ate her like a monster. Mm -hmm. No, okay, just the no. pussy. She was like the worst person ever, Amanda. Too. She. Oh, it was. It was. It was amazing. It was amazing. <laughs> and she was just really lapping it up. Oh, it was great. Yeah, it's one of the greatest scenes I've ever seen. See, for me, I don't like. A scene where they show everything. Yeah. I want clothes on. Yeah. Yeah. And that's how I want it. Leave something to the imagination. A hundred percent. It's mm -hmm. just, I, you know, I don't like watching, you know, a guy bang a girl for 40 minutes with a 10 inch penis. Doesn't work for me. Doesn't work. I still get a little I get nervous penis when like nude scenes come on in movies. Same. Yeah. I get a little nervous like, oh, this is weird. I fast forward through them alone sometimes. <laughs> no, I, I compare like how <laughs> realistic it actually is. I'm like, is Compared this what? like, am I fucking like this or no? No, in you're, movies, you're, you're not fucking yeah, like that. No, no not never, <laughs> not not even close. No. But I, I do respect like the depiction. Yeah. I've never seen am a I dude wearing... trying to f find it uh, in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's like sliding around. It's like it's yeah, wait, so on. quick. Yeah. Yeah. yeah just yeah. in. It's I, always just right under the covers. In. Am I wearing mm. leggings? Yeah. Damn near looks yeah, like Wait, stand up. Oh, just, just what the fuck? Yeah, wait, I thought I was wearing sweatpants. Am I wearing? Are you leggings? wearing the, the yeah. leggings? Those are. Just... <laughs> hey yo, <laughs> they look like yeah. ski pants. Let me see you the are. back. They look wait, like ski wait, pants. Wait a I've been, yeah. I've been, <laughs> you have pockets. I've been awake for fucking nine hours, and I just looked down at my. Leg. Oh, you feel <laughs> them? That's spandex. <laughs> you forgot to wear pants. Oh my god. I literally just looked down. and was like, what? What the fuck? Yeah. On the side. Am I wearing, oh, I'm wearing leggings right now? Those are. <laughs> were they hanging up in your closet? I don't fucking know. I mean, you got to feel like that's that's leggings. <laughs> no, I swear pant. to God, we just did advisors. We did everything. I did. They pick them. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm wearing the That's a do rag. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Stand up and spin. It's because Max didn't spin. press the button. It's a twirl. You were off. Okay. Are there back pockets? Wait, wait. Okay. There wait. is a back pocket. No, they look oh. like. Oh. Um, oh those oh, are, just must be the. Bati- no, no, those are sweatpants. Okay. Okay, all right. Weird okay. material. No, it's the way I was sitting, I yeah, think. They looked I looked real. When I was like this, and they were all taut. Man. Like, I fucking put on leggings. That's today. pretty funny. That's weird. Damn. That would have been a bad scene. I think these are sweatpants. How awesome is it that we can just wear a fucking sweatpants? That's the best yeah. part. Yeah. Love it. Imagine yeah. wearing a suit every day. It's worth oh, all the worries. Oh, we should do that's, that. Ma- that's what Max has to do. Yes. We should also do suit week yeah, just to teach. give everyone a reminder of what, how good we ha- have it. That's a good boss move. Yeah. yeah. Just every once in a week? while. Everyone's got to bring yeah. a suitcase. Got to be in at 8.30, out at 5.30. Uh-huh. Uh, but suit. I think some people like that. It gives them an extra boost in the morning. I think there's, I think there's something to be said for uh, having a differential... Diffy, differentiator differentiator between work and home where it's like work i yeah. go i come home i take off my suit yeah because like yeah. i'm just wearing leggings all the time so there's yeah. no there's no transition period for mm-hmm. me right Taking there's no cat, getting comfortable yeah. right i'm always oh. comfortable yeah Damn, which man. i guess saying that people are probably watching being like fuck you guys but listen it's tough life here you don't take yeah. your shoes off immediately when i get home yeah most of the time, yeah, that's not the, all the time. That's the uh, that's the way to get comfortable at home immediately, right? Just take the shoes off. Yeah, I guess slippies, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Slippers would be nice. Yeah, robe. I don't have slippers. You don't have slippers. I don't have slippers either. I need it's slippers and a robe. I don't have I either. Do you have a robe? Slippers. No robe. I don't have slippers. I think I need slippers too. But now that I'm in this cold, cold, cold place, I, I walked outside last night and realized I was barefoot. I was like, that's very stupid. What do you mean, yeah. boy? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you realized? I realized that I needed uh, I needed something to wear. It's going to get back in the oh, You ever step me. on a slug barefoot? Oh, yeah. Oh, Sucks. Yeah. 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 Gross. Yeah. It's going to get back in the 50s. We are getting 50s? Yeah. Yeah, this week. This, this is a quick. Yeah. I got to get in the lake and get my boat out. Oh, yeah. That'll take 10 seconds. Well, I gotta have another guy help me push it out. I can help you. I've been wanting to go fishing. No, I got I got a friend that the, the the lake. We could go fishing, Jerry. I don't. Sounds I, like you didn't want me to go fishing with us. I haven't called a fish in a couple of months. I wouldn't know where to find him in the lake right now. Gotcha. So you can come, but uh, I got a guy coming to help me take it. Brandy, out you can just pull, put a rope. Yeah. At the uh, the the bow. Yeah. And then just walk up the hill. Well, it's and not a hill. It's a it's a, a ramp the, that's elevated. Oh, Walk yeah, up the ramp. That's the, boat the definition will. of a ramp. We're back at fifty tomorrow, boys. But boys, I have to lift. <laughs> yeah. The, the, yeah. the ramp doesn't go all the way to the water. It's about it sits about two feet above the water. So I have to pull the top, the the front of the boat up to the ramp. Your boat doesn't it. have a handle on it. No. Hmm. I mean, it's a very heavy. It's a very big boat. It's we, a very big boat. <laughs> How big's the boat? You know, it's huge. It's so small, Stu. It's so. Titus, small. you've been on my boat. I have, so I can confirm it is a tiny boat. Yeah, you, you, sat, could, you could pull the boat out with one easily. hand, but you, you don't need sa- another man. You sat in the back, I sat in the front. Could we have touched? No, we couldn't have touched. We couldn't have touched if we stepped uh, step to each other. Yes, but sitting. No, we, we, were, we could high five. We could not high five yeah. sitting there. That's yes, crazy. we could. You were in the back seat. I was in the front seat. I know, and we could high five. We could have high five. We were handing each other the fishing pole back and forth. That's you a were, fishing pole. You could only fit one fishing pole in your boat. No, I have three. And three. Titus, I forgot to ask, how'd it go yesterday? Oh, the trick or treating? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was great. It scares it was, I actually did... brought, I brought in the leftovers. For oh, Kyle. what the oh. hell? That's a big bucket. Oh, wow, there dude. must be so much candy in there. I brought in all the leftovers for Kyle. That's just oh, almond joy. Oh, That's just, just almond joy. Almond I need everyone with an open mind oh. to taste test an almond joy <laughs> right an now almond and, joy. and yeah, sincerely go. say that it sucks. All right, give me an almond joy. Oh, yeah. we, should do, we should run yeah. back. Uh, what candy am I eating? Oh my God! Uh, I I'm should say, I should Time say, class. I should say, I put razors in half Bad of those. Oh, oh big cat! Right, did you so, see somebody put a nail in a Tootsie Roll last night? What? Yep. Yeah. Oh, there's two fat adult videos stealing candy. I actually was thinking about it last night before I went to bed. This is how sick I am. I'm like so excited to put a razor blade in something that KB eats. <laughs> oh yeah, I thought and about you it more. No yeah. idea I, when it's gonna happen. I was a little we, cocky, but but you're still cool with the plan. I think so. I okay. think I could try. Maybe something. No, let's try. So complaint number one before you even eat it, it's just one fat ass almond on top. That's not like well, it's we, not almonds, Joy. Okay. It, yeah, All right, not, just take a whole bite with the almond and the candy I have a stat- bar. I have a statement what? to make. This is good. Yeah, it yeah. is good. It tastes like Samoas. You're right. Mm-hmm. Which we can't say. Anymore. I love it. 
Stu loves it. Did you mm-hmm. leave your bucket out? No. You, well, you gave them all out? Yeah. Um, not to pat myself on the back too much, a lot of jackpot comments. A lot of kids like going, oh, 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 oh jackpot, jackpot. <laughs> kids ain't saying kids jackpot. Are, <laughs> you know what you gotta do? <laughs> uh, kid, no, kids are saying, you're a fuck. I caught you writing uh, a lot. Ah, jackpot. Titus. Titus. All right, jackpot, Titus, you yippee. Know what you gotta do next year, because this, this happened on a couple houses I took my kids to. The uh, people were sitting up on their stoop, and they had a big PVC pipe, and it fucking oh, yeah. launched the candy into their bucket, so they'd have to walk up the steps. That's what I'm An almond joy only has do. one almond? Yeah. Yeah, that's what yeah. I said. Like, Again, this looks it's, like it's the Lance Speeder from Star Wars. This yeah. is a mini yeah, almond exactly joy, right. though. This is not a real it almond like joy. It's like Lance Armstrong's dick. Mini. It has three almonds, a real almond joy. Did you see the guy that did we, two liter sodas for uh, Halloween? Oh, no. yeah. Yeah. This is tiny. This but this is, is a mini almond joy. Right. This guy was awesome, TJ. Wait, this is a good candy. That's because you don't discipline them and then we want them to listen, they won't. That's of course. It's all right. Keep the oh, yeah, see, he's got kind of a, a launch thing. Four root beers. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. Two. We got a cream soda. All right, next number. That's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. That's going to weigh down the sack. Yeah. yeah. And by 15 minutes in, he's going to bail out of that. He's doing that for social media. Yeah. I bought yeah. way too much. I had four buckets of that size full of That's candy. So oh, much jackpot. Candy. Awesome. Right? <laughs> 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 and, uh, Wait, what was the timing like? Uh, they, sh- they started showing up at like 4.45. Yeah, we started going out at yeah. 5. Mine Which made earlier. me feel... Someone actually... I, I had a lot of people uh, explain to me that I, I wasn't crazy. It's just they moved... Daylight savings time used to be before Halloween. Oh, so we we that makes when we sense. were kids when we were kids we would trick or treat at the same time. It just was darker. Dark. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I was like, wait, that, that, that feels good. We yeah, had a, we yeah, had like right. a, a three day everybody. debate about this. Right, right. I was like, so we're not pussies. The kids <laughs> that aren't feels pussies. Really yeah. good. Kids oh. are pussies. Yeah. Uh, so it started around four forty five. Um, by I think eight was like the last kids that came. Yeah, um, and by the end, like by by seven fifteen, seven thirty, it's getting really thinned out. Where it's like kids are coming like once every like ten minutes or so. And when they would come, I would I, I they would ask how much could I take, and I would say take literally as much as you want. And they're like, it. what? Yeah, jackpot. Just like yeah, jackpot. Yeah. And Did I, you have that, any that kids that were good. too old to trick or treat? And they were like, yeah, they were they too were, old. Yeah, there was one kid that was like, bet like. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He goes, how much can I take? And I was like, as much as you want. He's like, bet. And, then, uh, and he pulls out his backpack and like, oh, and he starts. Uh, and I thought that kid might be a little too old, but uh, that's awesome. I still have a shit ton of candy at home. Did you have any so stoolies? No, there was one guy. There was one parent that uh, said he's gonna come back over and. Uh, have some beers with me and, and like I, it was oh, really no. don't yeah, like yeah, was don't <laughs> did you ask him to no he was just like he was he was just like you uh you knew the neighborhood i was like yeah and he's like cool man well i'll have to come back over and like we can have some beers like, and no chat. that's okay and I was like, oh, no. that's so then I, nice. I spent the rest of the night like did, did he does he know who i am like why right or was he just like forward to every oh neighbor, yeah every neighbor I thought you that meant he in? did know who you were well that's what yeah. i i was like he, he might just uh, yeah. be nice yeah yeah hope not um but he started talking to me about the Cubs like out of nowhere, and yeah. yeah. So there's like a little, there's like a little. He knew you. You live in Chicago. He knew you, though. right? These are the these are the questions I was asking myself. <laughs> like, is he just? I don't know. Reveal yourself, <laughs> gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, it was fun though. Trick or treating, trick or treating in Chicago is is cool. People get fired up about it. Yeah. Jerry, you had fun. I did. I did. I had a lot of good, a lot of uh, good trick or treaters. A lot of stoolies. Uh, parents came by, which was awesome. But then I ran out, so I had to go make a pit stop. No, were you, were you giving out full size? Full king, king, king. king. But I got I cheaped out in the beginning. I only got twenty four bars. What? Mm. And then you gotta get more. Than I that. know. I didn't think I was gonna get that many. And then within, I would say like thirty five minutes, about thirty five to forty five, I ran out. <sighs> so I'm like, I I can't go out like this. Yeah, no, you can't go down like <laughs> so that. I ran, got more, came back, and then. It was a waste of money because when I came back, there was maybe five more people that showed up. Oh, wow. So, so I got, got a bunch of bars at your house. I do. I do. That's one more thing to stress over. Yeah. Yep. Too much candy. Exactly. How, when am I going to eat this? But I did eat a lot of candy yesterday. Oh, I ate so much candy yesterday. I did. I, I, I think I might have had maybe 20-something maybe of the Reese's Cups. Oh. Miniature. 
No, probably like the regular ones. <laughs> oh shit! So that's like, my that's favorite lot. candy 50. ever. Yeah, yeah, ever. So yeah. good. It's the best. It's a lot yeah. of cups. The best. Have you tried the creamy one? The no. creamy one. Creamy Reese's. It's like extra peanut butter. Huh. It's it's a uh, it's right. like a thin layer of chocolate, but extra peanut butter. All right, Jerry, we gotta go. We gotta t- t- tape this baseball video. Oh, I yeah. told PFT, first batter up, nails him in the fucking head. <laughs> yep. And then every person after that on his hands. I love it. Can't be over the plate because he's just going to take it. You know, it's yeah. He's never. They're never getting out. I love it. I love so it. On right. the hands. That's it. You guys can keep yakking, or do we want to end it? Let's spin the wheel. Right, yeah, spin we the can wheel. Spin it. Where the fuck is that going? Almond joys suck, by the way. You didn't, Almond joys didn't like. You don't that. like them. I don't like coconut. But do you like? Oh, well, I don't like coconut. Well, so if you don't like coconut. You, you're never eating this to start with. Ever. Though. Right. Oh. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're golden. We're good? All right, we'll see you tomorrow. See ya. Love you guys. Thanks for having me on. It's an honor. Thank you. It's always an honor. (laughs) With the way you were sitting. Cute ass. It it looked like they were painted on. Happy birthday, Mom. Love you.